Right, this is Sheila. I'm on track. It's when you've got to do it all on your own. You've got no one to fall back on if you feel you're lost. But I'm actually quite good at reading maps and um, getting from A to B, actually. I've even brought my compass just in case. But there's the airfield. Mendip Gliding Club. There's a small runway. Zara was going on about it because somebody from there saw the what they thought was aliens went back in about 1993 when some bright light hit the attic window, very bright. And apparently, at the same time, policemen on the motorway and someone out here spotted something unusual in the sky. So that's um, this is for Zara. This little video, really. Um, over there, there's like the club. There is a road, so I know I'm on track. That's the club, and then over there, that little thin white line is the runway that goes up. And I actually came across that not long ago on the other walk by accident because I was so keen to get on top of the slights there Draycott slights that I um I feel quite relieved now I'm up top the air is much clearer than if I'd stayed in Weston where it's still quite cloudy full of pollution I had a terrible headache which is unusual and the flat smell of, of smoke Anyway, everyone, this is Sheila. It's the uh, 29th of June, 2015. I'm up on the Mendips again, exploring the Mendip Way, the West Mendip Way. The East Mendip Way goes towards Froome and Shepton Mallet and all around that way. I'll do that another time. I've got enough to keep me going. So I'm walking through the countryside. Like I said, it's the end of the... Um, Glastonbury Festival already. Um, of course, it was all numbed a bit by the massacre in Tunisia, where 30 British holidaymakers were shot dead, murdered while they were on their sunbeds. That happened, I think, Friday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And um, so it was a bit solemn, really, I think. Um, it must have affected people. It was like a personal attack on um, British. The gunman actually sought out British people. Um, he let some go because they were, they didn't look British and they were, Mus they were Muslims. Mind you, you do get British Muslims, you see. So they could have shot dead some of their own. But it was, um, they reckon it was more than one bloke and it was planned because there'd been another nasty th incident. <clears throat> in France where some manager of a big firm had his head cut off and put on a gate and horrible slogans um, put on his face and his body which was up the road and then there was a mosque because they do blow their own up <sighs> yeah so here I am I'm right up in the countryside the beautiful English countryside, everybody. With my brain down right over there and my Crook's Peak right over there and my Brent Knoll. I'm getting further and further afield now. And I'm not doing it by using Alberta. I'm making use of public transport because if I take Alberta, then I've definitely got to go back where she's parked. Whereas there isn't more choice of buses. All I've got to do when I'm out here, though, is keep a very close eye on the time. I have to allow to get back, but of course I can go back to Draycott, which is where I got the bus to today. And I can get back there. I don't have to get back to Cheddar. Um, I have got... I might not do Ebor Gorge today because um, I've got a bit towards Cheddar that I feel incomplete that I haven't finished so it's, it could be 
that I will do that. But rather than go back into Draycott and then have to climb all the way up again, I'll just go straight over the slides. Then I'll have to go very careful to find that proper pathway. But what I remember that put me off was a herd of cows all around the gate. I mean, you know, it was very worrying for me. Now this looks like it has some sort of animal in it not long ago, look. There's no sign of them at the moment. Through there there's a farm. But there's evidence of animals not long ago here. It could even be horses. Not long ago, and I'm coming up to another stile. I'm on the way to Pretty, Pretty Pretty. So I'm going to turn off now because uh, I always run out of memory when I need it the most. That's why probably I won't do Ebber Gorge today. Another stile and another pathway over there. We look across the field. Look, we've come to another stile on the other side. So I know I've got to go across about eight or nine fields. But so far, I haven't had to worry about cows, but they could be they could be the other side of this stile for all I know. I can hear animals. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look. Oh yeah, there are some. Now I've got to get over there. Now am I gonna risk it because they've got calves? If not, God I hope they're gonna let me get there. Right, just turn off. The cows are there, and I want to go over there, so they might let me. We'll just see, but cows are getting... The thing is, I'll be trapped. Once I'm halfway across, they decide to chase. I'll be, ca I'll be dead, everyone. So I've just got to see if they're going to approach me first. Um, that's the style. There's... The the cows so I think I'll probably be okay I'm just going to walk gently across now that one's looking like he might follow um, I don't know if I can risk it really what do you think do you think they're gonna let me go I'm look a bit frisky and that is too far for me to run mate so I can either mess about here, go up to that gate and walk along. Um, well, they might leave me alone. don't really know. Like some people have picked up a stick, look. Like that. I'll, ju I'll just see. I'm going to walk so far so I can still get back to the stile. It's just that if they start chasing me as I go, I've only got a certain period of time when I could get away. So if they suddenly come up behind me, I've had it. But let me see, I'll just try walking and see what happens. There's bigger ones. I'm trying to ignore them. You see, if one turns, and I've got quite a long way to go yet, there could be what's called the point of no return. Right, we're all right at the moment. My heart is beating a thousand beats. It's all right, they're not coming. Right, that was very scary. I'm still not out of the woods yet. They decided to chase me now. That was a bit, I heard them, you see. 
I think now if they started to come I might just make it to the stile. You've got to remember that there is a road. I don't actually have to come back through this field if I don't want to. Now I've taken a risk because there they are there, look. You see, there's the cows there. And they seemed okay. Right, over and out. I'm making my way to that stile. <laughs>